hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm yoland if you're new here i hope everyone's had an amazing weekend i can't believe it's gone so fast today this video is about how to let go of the past i'm just gonna get straight into it and just talk about letting go of the past again this is something that i have struggled with it's something that i know is still there in me so i know that there is going to be other situations in my life that is going to arise and i'm gonna some way probably struggle to let go of it but this is how so far i've worked through letting go of the past and moving forward with my life and the first thing i would definitely say is to acknowledge the past for what it is it's so easy to get caught up to get stuck and feel like the past has whatever past experience has um power over you um and, and i think that happens because you are so hurt you are so caught up you've got so many different emotions about this one situation from the past it just feels like a part of your current life but acknowledging it for what it is will definitely help you so what i would i would always say acknowledge the past for what it is it's not a part of your current life it's the past it's you have to kind of break that mental cycle of um continually reliving it someone said to me that the negative thoughts that you're continually having about the past and finding it difficult to let go is a bit of a habit because i was getting up every day and i was thinking about you know why did this happen to me and the reason why i was worried so much or thinking so much of why this has happened to me is because i couldn't make sense of the pain that i was feeling so acknowledging the past for what it is and um, will definitely help you to move forward acknowledge that it caused you pain it caused you a lot of discomfort and that's why you're constantly thinking about it um, you don't have to feel ashamed for thinking about the past because I've I used to feel so silly and it just it was a horrible cycle because I was upset at myself constantly thinking about the past constantly thinking how I've been done wrong constantly feeling a bit weak because why can't I just let go of these things and move forward but I promise you when you acknowledge the past what it is something which is no longer a part of your life but an event which happened to you you will start to s gradually move forward. Um, the other one that I would say um, is, um, the other one that I would say is to reflect on the past. Reflect on the past. And when I say reflect, I mean, try to understand the situation, whatever it is that hurt you or um, upset you in that situation. I feel like for me, when I've reflected on past situations, it, it's always given me a lot of clarity. So when I reflect, um, after acknowledging it, I reflect on it. And when you reflect, you start to see what it is that you've learned from the past, because the, the past is a big teacher. I feel like the past, the things that happened to you in your past, if you, if you, when you ring the things that's happened to you in your past if you reflect on them use the things that you reflect on to teach you what you can improve about yourself where you can grow because i feel like hurtful and harmful things only happen to teach you a lesson even though even though at the time they are really painful they're definitely there to teach you a lesson and one thing i know for a fact for me is when you reflect on the past and you learn certain things and you understand certain things, you know that what happened to you in the past, it's something that you're not going to go through. You you might go through things again that are similar, but you will never go through that situation again because you have learned something from it. So try to take reflect and try to take the lessons away from the past so you can move forward and and, and have clarity and have strength to grow through those things like this that that quote says grow through what you go through i would definitely use reflecting to um help you to grow from your past experiences it's so easy as well to get bitter um from the past because when you look back 
you're looking back at what happened and sometimes when you look back at what happened you're you're realizing violations <laughs> when you reflect on things it's best to try and do it in the healthiest way possible in moderate like i'd say moderation i don't even know if that's the right word but when you reflect on the past i would say to try to reflect on it lightly because when you reflect on the past you start to notice things which happen to you sometimes things that you didn't really catch on to like for me um one example like coming when i've come out of any kind of relationship friendship whatever i look back and I reflect and then I realise things that I didn't pick up on at that time. And one thing I've done before is beat myself up for not knowing what I know now. And I don't think you should ever, ever beat yourself up for not seeing things at that time. There's a reason you didn't see it. And I think the things that you realise when you do reflection is you weren't really conscious of at the time when it was happening it was you probably wouldn't have known how to handle it and sometimes it's the blessing in disguise realizing certain things later um so for me i would definitely reflect but try to lightly reflect because if you reflect too hard you can find yourself getting overwhelmed i know that looking back at the past too much can lead to depression it can lead to anxiety and look tr believe me i've been there i've you know sometimes you just sit and think about a conversation you had and you're thinking why did i not say this then why did i not say and that does not help you at all because that situation is gone that situation is no longer but what you have to take from reflecting is the knowledge that you have now and the strength that it will give you for another situation that you may come across which is similar to that so i would say reflect on the past the other one I would say is don't go back to the past. It's so easy to look at the past. I think when we, when, if you've been in toxic situations in the past, um, sometimes toxic situations can feel very comforting, can feel very safe because it's what you know and it's, it's something which is in somewhat way have kept you safe before because it's kept you safe because there was something better outside of that and sometimes when there's things that are better outside of that or you need to level up and you need to change it's sometimes it's harder sometimes to level up and to change um than it is um but it's easy to stay stuck sometimes you can feel yourself wanting to go back to the past but you're not going back to the past because it serves you any good you're going back there because it's a comfort zone and sometimes a very toxic comfort zone um, for me I feel like everything in my past served me a purpose and now that I am where I am I'm so happy I went through what I went through I'm so happy about everyone that I met in the past because I wouldn't you you do not grow if you do not you have to find some kind of perspective in it because you will never grow if you didn't go through some of those things in the past you would never be who you are now you won't evolve and you have to be thankful and just have gratitude for those things going back to the past i would say is a big no-no i i've had a situation before like i've had a, a relationship before where i constantly just went back constantly went back constantly went back because I was so scared of myself, I think. I was really scared of myself and acknowledging who I am outside of this situation. I was just really scared um, to move forward. I was scared to let go. I was scared to let go. And um, I resisted letting go. And now I could never go back to that situation. Now I look at it now. I could never go back there because it serves me no purpose um, being who I am today. It serves me no purpose at all. And sometimes you have to look at that. You need to look at who you were in a past situation that didn't serve you very, very well. And you have to say to yourself, do I want to relive those things? Is it worth going back to the past? And 
100% of the time, it's never worth going back to the past to to live a life that doesn't serve you or doesn't propel you forward. So I would say learning to let go of a past is really important and it will make a big big difference in your life maybe i'm not saying it's going to be easy to not go back to the past or to let go of a past but you have to practice you have to practice on to you have to keep speaking to yourself you have to keep practicing until that becomes your reality where the past has no hold on you you're you have no interest in it at all so even and don't feel ashamed because I feel like for me, I used to think, why have I got myself in this situa silly situation again? And I'd do the same thing again and again. But I was growing all of that time because every time I went back to something that didn't serve me, it reminded me why I shouldn't be there until I'm just not there anymore. So you just let go of the past and you move forward and yeah you will thank your future self for it as well so i definitely say don't go back to the past let go of the past the final one i'm going to say is to grow from the past it's so easy to i know there's so many people get caught up in the past that i i didn't want to be that person that kept telling the story of the past and i feel like there's some things that i, I I didn't want to keep repeating to my friends. I didn't keep, I'm having major deja vu right now. I'm having mad deja vu right now. It's, um, so I feel like I was stagnant in the past. The things that hurt me in the past defined me a lot. I was like a victim to past stories like that happened to me. So this is why I'm like this that happened to me this is why I can't move forward but that isn't true that was that's that was just a mentality and that's that's something I kept feeding myself so I kept feeding myself that so that's how I lived as if as if I was weak because I've been through a past situation and it was heavy to deal with and you know you just can't be the victim to your past you have to grow from your past and as it is the it's the best feeling you have to look at these things and find hope in them so for me now i don't i don't look at anything that may have been bad in the past and think i'm so angry at this situation i'm so sad at this situation i just say to myself if that didn't happen i wouldn't be this way now if a didn't happen i wouldn't know b if you if if that didn't happen to me i wouldn't know what i know now and you have to take that positively you have to try to not make it make you cold um or make you bitter you probably will be bitter for a while you'll probably be cold for a while but don't let, don't be ashamed of that but also don't let that be your final situation when you heal and when you start moving forward make sure you are growing as well don't let the past make you stagnant and feel unworthy of better things and um, so i would definitely take your past as something that's here to help you to grow the past you can't be stuck in the past unless you decide to stay there i would definitely take your lessons from the past and grow and move forward because you deserve that much you definitely deserve that much most of the people from the past that i've had any form of situation in with whether it's a bad situation and um, whatever i always i don't look i don't i'm not the kind of person to really look back much once i have closed the door i don't normally look back i don't really care to anymore and i think it's because i've practice this and practice this so much I don't feel the need to look back and interfere in that I, I feel it's fair for me and it's fair for those people too there's no need to look back at the past and if I ever do look back it's always to to use it for myself personally and say you know because I have struggled before I have struggled um moving forward because I used to think why have I gone through such a bad situation someone's put me through something absolutely violent and terrible 
how is it that they're getting on with their life but i don't look at it like that now i look at it as someone someone's hurt me and they're getting on with their life they may have acknowledged it they may not have acknowledged it but they are still moving forward with their life and i use them as an example that i need to do the same they've they might have done something bad and I might have been through something bad, but that still is reason for you to move forward. And there's no one in my life that's probably done me bad or if I've done... I don't wish anyone in my life who's done me bad to be sit sad and angry. I want them to move forward as well because if you don't move forward, you do not grow. So I just take every heartache and every hardship I've been through as a lesson to help me grow. Because the for me, the bigger... the there's a bigger purpose for me. I believe that any kind of hardship I've been through, I don't think it was for, for just no reason. Some things just happen, but I don't feel when you've been through absolutely hurtful things or hard things, I don't believe it's for any reason. So I think that for me is enough reason to grow and to, to do my absolute best. And I feel like that should be for everyone as well. But don't forget that it takes time to let go of the past. It takes time to grow through the past. And it takes time to get to a place where you are ready to acknowledge it and reflect it. So uh, with me saying all that, take your time. It's fine. It's fine to it's fine to be caught up in that moment, but don't be caught up in the past for too long. Because if you find yourself stuck in that place, it's a very hard place to get through but don't beat yourself up or feel ashamed just take your step just take your time and take tiny steps to move yourself forward out of that okay this is the well this is the end of the video guys i just wanted to give that quick those quick tips and i hope that helps someone i'll see you again next week with another video